right, let's bring in Palestinian affairs analyst Osama Nizal, who is in Janine in the occupied West Bank. Good to see you, Osama. When you look at this violence that's happening today and the broader atmosphere of tensions, is it different now than it's been in recent years? I think the Israeli military escalation and Israeli violence against the Palestinians is increasing day after day, but taking different shapes that are more brutal, more inhumane, and unexpected by any person or by anybody. There is uh, no policy in any country on this planet that asks worshippers to have a permission to get to the mosque. But here, Israel is asking the Palestinian worshippers to have a permission to practice their right to worship, something that is fully rejected by all international values and by all international conventions and organizations. What happened yesterday, last night, in the holy compound of Al-Aqsa was heartbreaking and was shocking to everyone who was that, whether Palestinian or non-Palestinian, Muslim, a Christian, or a Jew, getting into the mosque, a shooting fire, rubber bullets, tear gas, attacking women, men, children. It was impossible to see these things happening to the people of Palestine in their holy sites, and nobody makes anything to stop such kind of a crimes. You know, sadly, it seems like given the multiple incidents of violence we've seen, all eyes have been on this period of time, worried that this kind of violence would break out, that, the, that there would be a raid on Al-Aqsa. On, on Al and that's exactly what we're seeing now. The Israeli occupation government and the Israeli settler regime had a plan before the start of the holy fasting month of Ramadan to divide the holy compound of Al-Aqsa, especially and temporally. They were talking about that much to uh, allow the Israeli extremist settlers to get into the mosque and to uh, practice the Talmudic rituals in violation of all the agreements that Israel itself uh, signed with the Palestinians and with the uh, uh, Jordanian government and the Islamic Waqf department in particular. So this escalation against the Palestinian worshippers in Al-Quds comes as a translation and implementation of the Israeli policy and of the Israeli plan to divide the holy uh, compound of uh, Al-Aqsa. And it is not coming uh, from uh, scratch. So there is harmony between what the Israeli government uh, uh, policy and uh, between the Israeli uh, police and the Israeli settlers' violence on uh, the ground. Uh, so the escalation that we are watching uh, today against the Palestinians in Jerusalem is uh, reflecting the political vision of the current extremist, rightist Israeli uh, government. And I think that Israel started uh, practically to implement its policy of dividing the holy compound of uh, Al-Aqsa in order to give its extremist settlers full uh, freedom to uh, practice their Talmudic rituals in the third holiest uh, site for uh, Muslims around the world. All right. Osama uh, Nazar, great to talk to you. Thanks very much. You're welcome.